Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm not Hug64. Um, today I'm presenting some live, well not really live, I'm watching a recording of it, so it's not really live, but it's live to me. Um, watching a uh, first reaction and kind of commentary of Summer Games Fest hosted by TGA, um, Jeff Keighley is the main host. Um, I heard it's about two hours long and there's some cool surprises I heard. I heard Mortal Kombat um, like learning a lot of new stuff about that, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, I don't really know what's in this. I try to avoid spoilers today. Um, so what I'm seeing will be my genuine reaction to everything that's happening in the showcase. So, um, yeah, I think this will be it for today. I think I'm just going to watch this and that will be the stream because it's about two hours. So that'll put me about 10 o'clock. So, yeah, um. If you're watching on Twitch, thanks for watching. Watch on YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, sit back, relax, and we'll watch some Summer Games Fest together. So, enjoy. I'll switch it over to this one. All right, so I switched about a minute. So, I hope the mixing is good. I, the audio mixing can get kind of wonky when I play videos, so hopefully it's not too crazy. I turned it down, but I'll watch the audio levels in case I need to turn it down again. But, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, game stuff this week. We got this, and then Sunday is Xbox's showcase, um, and we're going to see some more gameplay of Starfield, which I'm pretty excited about. Even though I don't own an Xbox, I'm still, this game looks really cool to me, so I'm pretty excited about that. But I hope there's some good reveals in this, um, stuff that I'm not really expecting. Jeff said prior to the event that there was going to be a lot of big surprises, unexpected stuff, so pretty excited. Fair warning, I don't know what's in this, so, um, uh, parental advisor, your discretion is advised, obviously. Yeah, right, 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 right. yeah, your discretion is advised, he literally says it. E to M. Oh, yeah, there's a live audience, I forgot. So, we'll see a live audience, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Please, welcome to the stage, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff! Keely! Wow, oh, that is a lot of people in there. Holy Hello, everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest. We are in person, and today we've got a look at what's next in video games for you. We are live here in Los Angeles at YouTube Theater, and it feels so good to be in person with a live fan audience for the first time ever. Welcome, everybody. Oh, first time ever. I didn't realize that. When I started Summer Game Fest back in 2020 from a spare bedroom, I never imagined it would grow into this. Today, oh, yeah, this the video the game year. industry has come together to show you what's next. This is right. a cross-industry showcase, Heck meaning yeah. no matter where you play games, I hope you'll discover a new game to put on your wish list. The landscape of video game events has certainly changed over the past few years, but one thing hasn't. There are a lot of great games in development, and our singular goal today is to get you excited about the future. In just a few minutes, we'll see the first extended gameplay of Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> it delivers, don't worry. Alan Wake 2, oh, yeah. the reveal of Fortnite's next season. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And yes, we do have a very special grand finale that you're not going to want to miss. Ooh, okay, okay. That's all I'll say right now. Okay. But let's get right to the games and gameplay. The first reveal is something you're not expecting, which makes it that much more exciting. Nice, okay. Here we go. Oh, is Prince Persia? Our kingdom is cursed. The prince has been kidnapped and taken to a forbidden land. Dang. All hope rests with us, the immortals, to rescue him and save the empire. The 
We weren't prepared for what was coming next. Then again, they weren't prepared for me. But this is cool. uh, the enemy's plot and that's why they're ready or not. Better get better with time. I can't see an enemy end in the plot. My struggle came with a purpose. Now I'm about to turn it down to a purpose. You see, I ain't begging. I'm an undeserved. I'm tripping on every battle. I thought I had a plate of black. Don't think you can't run. Hit through the dark time. Born king with a dark side. Let's show you the light. See how I rolls up. It's kind of like a, it looks like a Celeste, kind of. Celeste is really the only sky scroll that I've ever played. In these times of darkness, hope is the only thing that keeps us fighting. I will fulfill my destiny and save the kingdom. Yeah, Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown, Ubisoft original. So, not a remake, it's an original game. It's a great game. Oh wow, all the platforms. Uh, like really every platform. There's a little surprise. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is coming in January 2024. A brand new action adventure platformer in the iconic Ooh, series the with deep way. combat, some huge boss fights, uh, and of course, incredible platforming, <laughs> puzzles, and animation, bringing a Sorry. modern take on the legendary franchise. You'll be able to see more at Ubisoft Forward streaming on Monday as part of Summer Game oh, Fest. Oh, yeah, Ubisoft All right, showcase. let's move along to another iconic video game franchise that just celebrated 30 years. That's right. It's time for Mortal Kombat 1. All right, off the bat. OK. Couldn't keep you waiting on this one. Yeah. It has been four years since MK11, and ever since Ed Boon and the team at NetherRealm have been hard at work on the most ambitious MK yet that reboots the series into a new era timeline. Oh, OK. I was and say. it's coming this September. Everyone has been asking, what does it look like? Who's on the roster? How do the new cameo fighters work? Well, now it is time for combat. No spoilers, but this video is literally insane. Here is an extended first look at the story, gameplay, oh. and yes, of course, the fatalities of Mortal Kombat 1. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down. Fight! <laughs> Proven worthy of joining us. Come. There are other champions I must gather. What do you want? Sento. It's my family blade. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. <laughs> okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, god of fire. Skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. The background is insane. Oh, laser vision. Oh. 
If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? That was pretty good, right, guys? Yeah. Now, I'm sure you though. have many questions about what we just saw, and to tell you more, oh. I am so honored to welcome to Summer Game Fest one of our industry's greatest creators, a man who has been Damn, loyal to the same franchise and fan base for more than three decades. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! Hey. I know who he is, I know who he is. Seeing the tweets and stuff. Congratulations. <laughs> they love you. All right. Well, Ed, uh, first of all, thank you for that incredible uh, world premiere. We got to see all the gameplay of MK1. And everyone just wants to know more about this because, first of all, this is in a, it's, it's MK1, right? It went from 11 to 1. So tell us about this. Is it a new yeah. timeline? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how many people have seen the, the ending of Mortal Kombat 11. Liu Kang basically was kind of graduated into, like, you know, a fire god, right? And he's, he created a brand new universe. And this universe, this is why we're calling it Mortal Kombat 1, is because this is the beginning of a new timeline. A number of these characters you've seen before, but they're told in a completely different story. And so... Sub Zero and Scorpion are brothers now, and there's there's all these things that were rivalries before are now allies, and so mixing the whole thing up, so we're just kind of rebooting, and that's what the one is for. Huh. Well, it looks incredible. Everything we Ooh. saw there was you know in-game gameplay. The cinematics look incredible. Uh, I know the team is working for four years on this, but the thing we got to talk about are these cameos because we saw some pretty amazing stuff there. Now, so tell us how does that work? You obviously you have your sort of your main, you know, character that you'll pick, and then I know you also have a separate kind of cameo menu. So you pick sort of a pair when yeah. you start the game. Oh. Yeah, normally in, in a fighting game, you'll you'll see a a roster basically, you know, where you select your character. After you do that, there's a second roster of characters, which are a whole new, uh, completely so different sidekick. fighters that are the cameo fighters, and these fighters actually they will join the fight. But they, a lot but of they, blank squares there. Yeah, so it's kind of like imagine yourself with Sub-Zero, but you have some of Jack's moves, and yeah. you can call him out. You can do it multiple times, as you saw in the gameplay, you okay. know. So you can piece, oh. you, you can basically combine these two characters. All the characters can be combined with all the cameo fighters, and that's where you see, that's where the player's kind of imagination comes in, and they can actually customize it for what they like seeing, you know, the, the best team-ups. Well, so how does that work? So you're in gameplay, you have your main, you have your cameo. How do you, do you summon them? Is it time-based? Like, how often do they come in? To, like, it's not a tag team thing, right? Where yeah, still, yeah, exactly. And and you're you're basically summoning them. It's just one button pushes, basically, summoning. But they have a variety. So you can go, huh. you know, push that button with towards, and it'll do a, a different move. Push it with down, it'll do a different move. Okay. And so oh, the combination. Cool. Oh, I see. So you can bring them in a combo. Almost. Exactly, okay. exactly. Oh. And and so, and you see, there's like a meter up on top, uh -huh. which is basic. That, that'll limited so you can't obviously fire them indefinitely but um you call you can call them pretty much whenever you want and they have you know like in the middle of a combo they'll have a lot of um you know basically a whole arsenal of their moves so sony you saw come out there sometimes you'll see them appear twice in there 
from May. So time it's based, they come out, and then obviously the as you go through, life, you revealed almost. some of them there, but I, it's a, is Since it a different set of characters that will be in the cameos? Are there some repeats from the main roster? How will that work? Yeah, yeah. Some of the so characters I mean, are going to be available the as right? cameos as well as the main roster fighters. So you can play Sub-Zero with Sub-Zero, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, can play, <laughs> you can Same thing with Scorpion. But a, a lot of our, our cameo fighters are kind of like nods back to our uh -huh. first game. So you'll notice Sonya and Kano and Jax are in their kind of older costumes. And so there's there's a lot of that novelty. We have a lot of like really surprise ones. I think you, you guys saw Goro. Yes, Goro was, was in, in there. there. Yeah, yes, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. So th there's a lot of like kind of really digging into the old Mortal Kombat games as far as getting, you know, um, we really love the novelty of it. We really want the cameo characters to feel, uh, you know, kind of nod to the old games. Hmm. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, nodding the old games, let's talk. You, you confirmed, I think, or at least known that Jean-Claude Van Damme is actually going to be in this game as Johnny Cage, yeah. right? Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was, yeah. people don't know the story. I mean, Bloodsport was such an inspiration for Mortal Kombat, so he oh, yeah. finally is now he's yeah, it, part it, of it? It's a huge first uh, full circle moment. You know, the, the first Mortal Kombat game, we originally wanted to be Van Damme, the video game, and that, and that never really worked out. So I, I can't tell you how many times over the last 30 years we've tried to get him, uh, you know, we were this close, yeah. like four or five times. And uh, so finally we got him, and he's doing the voices too. Wow. So you're going to hear John Claude, his voice doing Johnny Cage lines and stuff like that. We're really excited about it. Wow. Well, I know the team has been working so hard in Chicago to build this through COVID, and it's coming out in September, so we don't have to wait long, Jeez. right? They've been working on right. this, this, long. this has mean, been a very difficult three years uh, ago. secret to keep yeah. <laughs> over the last over the last four years. And so, uh, but we're we could not be more excited in terms of uh, getting players' hands on it. Um, and, you know, throughout the summer, we're going to be showing a lot more content, a lot more characters, a lot more cameo characters, you know, yeah. so there's a lot of reveals that are coming up. Amazing. Well, Ed, cool. thank you so much for giving us the first look at MK1. As you said, this weekend, people will be playing it, press and media, so we'll be seeing lots more coverage, lots more characters to reveal on the main roster and cameos. Uh, Ed Boone, thank you so much. First look at Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for <laughs> Amazing. So excited about that one. All right. Next up, it's been a fun couple weeks for action RPG fans with the release of Diablo 4, which is truly fantastic. Another big and anticipated ARPG is Path of Exile 2 from Grinding Gear Games, who have faithfully been updating and patching the original PoE since its release in 2013. We haven't seen anything on the sequel in over two years, but that changes right now. Here is your first look at a raw gameplay capture from Path of Exile 2, a sequel that pushes the engine and gameplay to a new level. Hmm. Whoa. Huh? Where are the gods? Are the hey, gods? you! What's going on? <laughs> oh. oh, you better run. There's a lot of them. Looks amazing, and there's more coming in July. Last week marked the release of Street Fighter VI, a game we featured last year at Summer Game Fest. Well, the team at Capcom has an important update to share with you right now. Oh, yeah, Street Fighter VI. Another fighting game. Whoa. Advanced Artificial Intelligence Leviathan. Welcome to Pikitoa Island. Oh, what the fuck are we fighting dinosaurs? What? Oh, 
it's a collab. Huh. Cool. I don't know anything about Street Fighter. I didn't mean, it's a Friday game. I'm guessing Ryu from Street Fighter facing off against a dinosaur probably wasn't on your bingo card for today's <laughs> show. That Street Fighter Cross Exo Primal collab will launch in the fall with the game coming out on July 14th. But guess what, guys? That may actually not be the craziest collaboration on the show today. Check this out. There's nothing more powerful than imagination. Well, is that Nick Cage? We can shape the fabric of reality, what? transforming everything you may think you know. No way. Oh, Dead by Day, okay. I knew about that. I think I knew about that. I was like, wait, what? Nicholas Cage That's right. Dead by Daylight. Nicholas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight in July. I mean, I don't know how these things happen, but <laughs> I figured the easiest way to find out is probably to go right to the source. No way. This man's bold creative choices have earned him an Academy Award and a few memes on the no internet across way. more than four <laughs> decades of incredible films. Lol. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest, Nicholas Cage! Oh my... <laughs> Hold on, Brick. <laughs> this is so random. Well, that's cool. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Happy to meet you. Nick, I got to say welcome to the video yeah, game world. Good. Oh, wow, yeah, thank you. I'm so happy to be invited to your very, very cool club, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I mean, I got to say, this is such a, a crazy, unexpected collaboration. I got to understand, how did this come about? I mean, some people be like, oh, maybe he'll show up in Fortnite. Maybe he'll be in a Hideo Kojima game. But Dead by Daylight, Dummy. I mean, how does this happen? Well, it's, it's a museum of horror, right? Yes. And, <laughs> When I make movies, one of my favorite genres is horror. And in, this, and, and in that genre, there's a character, a murderous ghost named Sadako, who I think is amazing. And she made an appearance in this game, so that was good enough for me. Okay. That's what, yeah, I mean, that's what's fun is you're playing one of the survivors in this game, and it's cool that, you know, it's, it really is this museum of horror. Michael huh. Myers, you said all these different yeah. characters all coming together. Um, and you, do you, pl you play yourself, or who do you play? So I play this uh, heightened exaggerated version of a film actor named Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's going to a location thinking he's making a movie and instead he wakes up in the fog. And in the fog he's surrounded by crows and serial killers and it's rather amusing. And there's something about it that I think as a survivor is like a bonding experience. It's a bit like hide and go seek. You have your three other teammates who are survivors with you and you're, it's teamwork. You're working together to pull through and I like yeah. that. And so that was a, a large reason for wanting to do it as well, that, that feeling of bonding with your friends. And you're fully in for this. I know we heard your voice in there so you yeah. recorded lines for it and everything? See, I want you to know when you're playing the Nick Cage survivor, I even have when you're choosing your skins, I even say, always remember to dress to match your talent. I want you to know that you're with me, that we're one, that we're fused. And so it was important to me that everything I do, everything I say, from the scream to the grunt, down to the most minimal, exasperated expression of uh, a sigh, whatever it is, it's my voice, so that we are fused. All right. <laughs> Fully method, Nick Cage, I love it. Uh, I, I mean, this is so fun. This game, as you said, is such an awesome kind of, you know, collaboration with so many different characters. For you, I mean, how did you find out about Dead by Daylight? Do you know much about the video game Somebody world? very important in my family yeah. is a Dead by Daylight enthusiast. Okay. And, and that really put the uh, hook in. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> Uh, see, Dead by Daylight to me was an opportunity to branch out. To I've never been invited into this space before. Yeah. I'm always looking for new adventures. So this to me was like, wow, I can, ma I, make a, I can make a whole new audience, meet a whole new audience, and branch out and go on this Dead by Daylight adventure. I, I didn't say, it took me nothing but a split second to say yes. And speaking about split seconds, what, <clears throat> excuse me, what I noticed... <clears throat> Excuse me, sinuses, uh, allergies. What I noticed <laughs> was that every move you make when you're doing this, when you're in the gaming space, 
it's, it's timed down to the split second. It's, an, it's a very immersive experience when you're acting out in this space because every move, every grunt, every sigh you make has to be timed perfectly yeah. with the gamer's move. So yep. that was yep. something that I learned from this, and I'm always looking to learn something. Well, we love having you in the video game world. We want to see Nick Cage in more games. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Look at this. Sick. Right. Nick, thank you so right, much. You. Hopefully the first of many. Nicholas Cage, great narratives. to see you, man. Oh, man, you can lock it in. Now, for all of you who want to play Nick Cage in Dead by Daylight, the chapter officially comes out on July 25th on PC and console, but PC players can try it earlier by downloading the player test build on July 5th. And here's an exclusive first look at Nicolas Cage in Dead by Daylight. Thank you. Yes. So funny, but so good at the same time. <laughs> Damn right I made it. <laughs> oh shit, too funny. Anything goes here at Summer Game Fest. All right, thank you very much, Nick. Now, lately we've been seeing an incredible number of video game adaptations, but back in 2019, The Witcher on Netflix, inspired by The Witcher book series, showed the potential of well-done adaptations. And later this month, Season 3, Volume 1 arrives, and now it's time for the world premiere of the trailer, introduced by Henry oh Cavill gosh, I just, and the cast. I just watched Hello, this before Witcher I watched this. We are all gathered here today to share something with you. Be sure to tune into The Witcher Season 3, Volume 1 debut, deb <laughs> <laughs> Volume 1 debuts on June 29th, only on Netflix. Get ready to watch the world she premiere so of our brand older. new trailer Holy for cow. Season 3 of The Witcher. Thanks for tuning in for the Summer Games Fest and enjoy the trailer. I'll watch it again, I guess. I watched this before I started the stream. Neutrality. It won't get you a statue. I love this show. It's so good. It's but probably one of my favorite. I'm keeping shows. you alive. I won't abandon Siri. Neutrality has consequences too. Right. Well, that's deeply worrying. Everything that's happening, it's all connected. I mean, she's at the center of it. So relaxed. So If war is coming, there is no hiding her from it. Are you sure about this? Are you? They look for monsters and they're like, No, please don't hurt me. And then, wow! Gorilla's gonna. Fangs. Just like a boatload of fangs. All up in your business. Definitely gonna have her big boy pants on. I mean, her witcher pants on. You know, being a witcher. Like a true witcher.
fire. Cool. Oh. Sierra One, Operation Control clears you for engagement. Steam, Steam VR. Are you ready for the next air bullet game? Oh my god. 49 inches. Two monitors in one. The monitor probably costs like $3,000. We have no choice. The root will destroy everything. Turning back after this, you sure? We have much more Summer Game Fest to come, including a first look at the gameplay of Alan Wake 2, the world premiere of the new season of Fortnite, oh. Call of Duty Season 4, and maybe a few more surprises for you. As we nice. go through today's reveals, use the hashtag gaming on TikTok on TikTok to react to the news. And we want to welcome everyone co-streaming the show live on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, Which and other platforms. Really live, For those of you I mean, on Twitch, we also have a special Warframe Twitch drop, a free Steinax Warframe for watching more than 30 minutes of the show. Now, speaking of surprises, another legendary gaming hero is set to return later this year in a brand new game built from the ground up in a style that I think is going to get this fan base and longtime fans of video games very excited. Here's another Summer Game Fest global game announcement. New thrills with a classic feel.
Superstars. I'm sure that'll do really good on Steam, Steam Deck. Steam Deck and Switch, I feel like we'll do crazy good on those. How about that? A new standard for 2D classic Sonic that's bound to appeal to new and legacy fans alike. This past April, Honkai Star Rail launched, and as you're about to see, the game is bringing an exciting new character to space fantasy RPGs. However, we don't just have a new peak for current players, but also for those awaiting the game's release on PlayStation. Take a look. I wish this universe had a few more things to do. Don't you get bored running across the map every day? <laughs> Team Trailblaze, back from duty. Mission one accomplished. Where's our next stop? I can't wait. <sighs> Another busy day ahead of us. <laughs> to the clock. Boom. From the blue. The tournament's starting. Great. Let me get warmed up. Strike first! Need a hand? My pleasure! <laughs> Let's see some sparks fly! Huh. Never mind. I miscalculated. Can you let me have some fun this time? Name Time for a buzz. It's your fan. At the speed, too slow. Hmm. Uh, Later this year on PlayStation. All right, inspired <laughs> by the story of Pinocchio, Lies of P is a Soulsborne like game from the team at NeoWiz, which is coming Pinocchio. to Game Pass, PlayStation, and PC this year. Well, if you're wondering exactly when, we have news to share with you on its release with this brand new trailer. Listen, pal. Hmm? Nice landing, but uh, let's not make it a habit. Lies of Number Huh. Wait for the demo today. Huh. That's right. A demo for Lies of P is now available across PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Cool. Check it out mm -hmm. and prepare for the release on September 19th. Now it's time for the reveal of a visually stunning new game based on a classic manga with a story and world created by one of the most celebrated anime artists of all time. This is one of those games that I feel lucky we get to reveal for the first time here at Summer Game Fest. And I think you'll be pretty hyped once you see the gameplay all built in Unreal Engine 5. 
Here we go. Nice. So funny. Sandland, get ready to become an unlikely hero in an adventure where you don't need to be human to save humanity. Uh, that's coming from Bandai Namco, and we're excited to see more of it soon. Independent games are such an important part of the industry, and one thing yeah. that's very important to I us agree. at Summer Game Fest is supporting those creators as well. After the live sh <clears throat> show, stay tuned for Day of the Devs from I'm 8-Bit and Double Fine with some incredible indie game reveals. Now, one of the biggest independent publishers is Annapurna Interactive. And later this month, as part of Summer Game Fest, they'll be revealing a number of ambitious new projects. Let's see how many you can figure out in this little tease. Oh. Straight to the first one. I mean, wonder the what game. that was at the end. We'll find out later this month. All right, <laughs> next, we're stepping into the world of Throne and Liberty, a free to play PC and console MMORPG from NCSoft and Amazon Games with an always changing environment, massive scale, PvPVE, and the ability to transform into creatures to battle across land, sea, and air. Here's a look at Throne and Liberty. Our guiding star has shattered. Its shards scattered across the world. An ancient evil searches for these lost fragments. Destroying anything in their path. You must find them. Harness their power and put down this threat once and for all.
Amazon Games. Looks great. I also want to say hello to everybody watching on Steam right now. I'm sorry we don't have any free Steam decks for you right now. <laughs> June 19th, Steam Next Fest does return, giving fans a chance to try out hundreds of new in-development games. One of them is the free-to-play medieval fantasy sword-fighting game Warhaven from Nexon, which lets you transform into supernatural immortals. Here's a new look. Hear the battle call, cities rise and empires fall, but it's a war worth fighting. We're taking up our arms, hold the line up, here we touch, and we keep on fighting. Pilgrims, summer is coming, and with it, a lot of cool stuff will make its way to Dying Light to stay human. Get ready for darker, more dangerous nights and roaming volatiles, complete with improved parkour, rolling out with the next update in June. Then, right after that, we'll kick off an event season like you have never seen before. Trust me, for one of them, you will want to get your butt barbed wired. Very soon, you will get the deadliest summers to date. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Isn't that great, by the way? Crash Team Rumble is going to feature playable Ripper Roo and Engine, Neil Cortex's right hand guy in season one. Now it's time to change the topic and descend into madness. Joining me is a guy who was last on stage at the Game Awards 2021 to announce Alan Wake 2. He's come all the way from Finland. Please welcome from Remedy, Sam Lake. <laughs> This is one I'm, I'm seriously interested in. 
I don't I haven't played the first one. Good to see uh, you. I don't know much Looking about Looking dapper it. as always. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, we are so excited because when you announced uh, Alan Wake at the game or Alan Wake 2 at the game awards, you said 2023. We are in 2023. It's coming this October and we are so excited about this Sam. I know it's been a long time coming for fans and for you. 13 years since the first Alan Wake. So tell us a bit about what can we expect in the sequel? It's been quite a journey, yes. Yeah. Um, Alan Wake 2 is Remedy's first survival horror game. We have two playable characters. It's a 50-50 split between them. Mm. They are on their own separate terrifying journeys through two different worlds, and yet it's, it's all connected. Huh. And the player gets to switch between them at given points in the, in the story as they choose. Hmm. Yeah, we saw, obviously, uh, at the PlayStation event, you revealed uh, Saga, the, the second character. Uh, tell us a bit about her. She's in Bright Falls, and she's sort of living a, a narrative that Alan has written. Is that right? Well, uh, that's a good question to ask okay, going okay. into this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we, we have Alan Wake, our yeah. title character, of course, trying to escape from the nightmare dimension yes. of the dark place. Yes. And then we have Saga, yes. our new hero, FBI agent, uh, coming to the Pacific Northwest small town of Bright Falls together with her partner, yes. Alex Casey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so how, and, uh, and they're somehow linked in some way, right? Uh, they are coming to investigate yes. a series of ritualistic murders. Okay. And, and very quickly, the investigation turns into a nightmare when they discover pages of a horror story. Uh, maybe written by a certain <laughs> missing writer. By the uh, initials A.W. <laughs> and, and this horror story starts to come true okay. uh, around them. That's Interesting. Spooky. So obviously, it's, you know, Alan is still going to be playable in the game. You're going to experience his journey. But uh, Saga, this is sort of a new character. And there is that sort of link. Tell us a bit about, you said, Split 50-50. Do they have separate missions? Because I think you can, you can play them in sort of different sequences or orders if you want, right? Yeah, we, we go into the experience playing as, as Saga. Okay. And, and it's a sequel, but it's also a standalone experience. We are not expecting everybody yeah. to do homework yeah, if, yeah. if they have not they played the original play the game. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. can be enjoyed uh, as is. Saga doesn't know anything about the lore, about the supernatural, uh, in this world, it's a good way to write it. she will be going in very quickly. She has to learn to survive, and with that, all the players uh, will be on on that journey with with huh. her. And and uh, then we open up the experience so that you can hop to play Alan Wake in the dark place okay. uh, as he's trying to find his way out, and you can keep on playing as Saga in the Pacific Northwest as the investigation goes on, and you are free to switch between Shoot. them. Ah. There are a lot of connection points yes. uh, in many surprising ways, but there is no right way to play through this. You can choose. You, you can go on as, as Alan all the way close to the end, or as Saga, or you can keep hopping between these two hmm. uh, sides of it. Well, you're always so good at kind of telling challenging, interesting narratives in unique ways. I mean, Remedy's always been known for that, and you especially, so we can't wait to see how these stories intertwine, I'm sure, yeah. throughout the experience. Today, though, I know you brought with you some, some gameplay oh. of Saga's okay. adventure. We're just going to see a, a raw segment of the game, right? Yeah, raw gameplay cool. for the first time ever. This is early on from the experience. <laughs> They're hyped, uh, Sam. They're ready for it. So tell us, what, what are we going to see? What, what uh, supernatural forces of darkness have uh, brought the murder victim, uh, in this case, back to life as a monster. And, and uh, Saga is outside Pride Falls at Cauldron Lake, trying to find him and stop him. Mm. Okay, with that, let's take a look at okay. raw, unedited gameplay from <laughs> Alan Wake 2. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. It already looks spooky. Gameplay not final, 100% spread the It's already so spooky. It's okay, so we have like kind of bullets. I'm assuming that. I don't know what the. Oh, it must be. I don't know what the thing on the health bar. Oh. 
Sounds like somebody's home. Oh, sorry. Kind of blocking this. Move back down. This is over. Whoa. The wind on that. I wonder what engine they're using. I don't know. I, I mean, I can't tell. It's probably the same engine they used for uh, the last game. I think control is made by Remedy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> what the? on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Oh, that's what's hard. Oh, what the fuck? I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. Killer left a message. It's for us. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. There's something I'm forgetting. Something important. Something's not right. October 17th, so like literally right for Halloween. And that was a reveal, right? The release. A long time coming, but Alan Wake 2 looks incredible. Thank you to Sam and Remedy for yeah, that first look at gameplay. Nice. Now let's get a first look at the co-op campaign of Warhammer Space Marine 2 from Saber and Focus. <laughs> We're facing a Tyranid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets, Avarax and Kadaku. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. I think I'm gonna take a short break. Um, it's been about an hour, so take a short break. Um, just gonna get a snack because I mean, I think there, I think we're uh, halfway through, so I'm gonna take a break. Um, be right back.
Okay, I'm back. So, continue. I don't know how much time. I'm assuming it's not four hours. This says four hours. I'm, the whole show is not four hours. That's just how long the, the stream was on their channel. So, I think we're halfway. I think Jeff said prior to the show it was going to be two hours. Snowfall, which is cool. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool, dude. Looks like a good Steam Deck game or a good Switch game. Beautiful indie game, yes, your yeah. grace. Snowfall. Now it is time for another global game announcement, and this one comes from the minds of Saber Interactive, Focus Entertainment, okay. and yes, horror master John Carpenter. It's a oh. brand new world, a brand new story, and looks like a heck of a lot of fun. Check this out. <laughs> like a really fun new co-op game. Like it'd be really fun to play co-op. I'm assuming that's kind of what they're going for. A zombie co-op game. PS5, PC, and Xbox. More unexpected collaborations. John Carpenter and uh, Saber with Toxic Commando. That looks uh, tons of fun. You guys think any of those zombies made it? I don't know. All right. Well, this August brings the long-awaited full 1.0 release of Baldur's Gate 3. And today, a new member is joining the cast. We're about to see the reveal of Lord Ember Gortash, the commander of a mechanical army of Steel Watchers. He's a second antagonist and is voiced by a familiar name. Hmm. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. A new age is upon us. Gods oh. have mercy on those nice. who would stand Jason in our Isaacs. way. That's A cool. mad dog understands the yank of the leash and the hand of its master. But it cannot be an equal. You can be my equal. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. 
I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Friends, uh, allies, cool. to my side. Let us usher in a new dawn. This city is mine. I'm not ready to call you enemy. What do you say? Voice acting has to be just so fun. Shall we be allies? Just, I don't know, it just sounds fun. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to. Gortash. Gasp. I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 is on track, Sven tells me, still for the end of August, and we can't wait cool. to check that out. All right. This fall, Marvel Games and Insomniac are set to bring <laughs> Spider-Man 2 exclusively to PlayStation 5. Uh -oh. Sounds like you guys are a little hyped. So to tell us more is Brian Intahar, game director Thank at Insomniac. Everyone. Brian, came on stage for really good time. I know you guys. Thanks so much Alan for stopping by. I know you got a lot of work to do. Week? Wrapping Rip. up the game, and we'll check it out in October. Thanks, Brian. Oh. We got our date. All right. Now let's take a look at Pal World, a multiplayer open world survival crafting game where you can befriend and collect mysterious creatures called Pal who can also fight. In other words, kind of like Pokemon with guns. And then. What? <laughs> then we're going to look at The Land of the Morning Light, a new expansion to Black Desert Online, which recreates the mythical folktales from Korea's Joseon Dynasty and some huge bosses, too. Those look like a Pokemon game. What? What is this? Knockoff Pokemon. What the heck? What is this? What the heck? Our story is more than what hobbits and elves know. It is time we told it ourselves. What is this game? With hammer and axe, we mine and scout. Across Middle Earth, delving for riches. Whoa. Yet the greatest treasure remains out of our reach Moria. Fellow dwarves, rally together. It's time we took back our home. Huh, that looks pretty good. We're getting into Lord of the Rings recently, so.
Samsung is definitely a big sponsor. Alright, now we're going to look at an exciting new mobile game from a legendary franchise. You must know. <laughs> Final Fantasy, right? The characters go from like that to like normal. I don't know, I don't know anything about Final Fantasy. Other than the main character Cloud is the same Cloud. Free registration for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis has just started, and users will have a chance to participate in an upcoming closed beta test. Now, speaking of Final Fantasy... No, 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 no. Today, during Summer Game Fest, DoorDash has your back. Get, <laughs> get a free burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code GAMEFEST. Plus, get the chance to win a Final Fantasy XVI prize pack. DoorDash, stay in your game. Yep, we got you. All right. <laughs> now here's a look at a game we debuted last year at TGA. Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden, the story of two ghost hunters in the haunted wilds of North America. Life to the living, death to the dead. Don't nod. We are Banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. The man says we face a choice, simple and awful. I banish you. Death to the dead. Do we kill? To be together again. Or do we part forever? Come out, wherever you are. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. Red. Every bloody time. Vanishers, oh. ghost of New Eden. So the day. Conquer the Shire was Anata Gonomi no Tanjun the Chikara Shiro des. Aru Jimbuzo, Kego Shite Itadakimas. コードネーム、上流。大丈夫か。ええ。お待たせいたしまって。トラブル発生。車はまだか。到着まで3分。何があった? Zimbo, my 
Stanley, it is 7.32 a.m. I hope you have a productive day. Whoa, what is this? Change username to just Stan. Adjusting morning wake up. Good morning, just Stan. Base to capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? Green across the board. Looks like we're good. Oh. Definitely a leak here, Tim. has it been now? Three years. Two months and 17 days. What sort of operation are they running down here? They shouldn't be here. Is someone there? This doesn't make sense. Is someone else down here? really cool it's a beautiful new game under the waves and today incidentally is world ocean day fun fact oh. all right next call of duty all right well there's a new call of duty coming this fall along with warzone mobile today we're going to give you the first ever look at season four of modern warfare 2 warzone launching next week here's your first look at vondel a new warzone location with points of interest including a medieval castle a soccer stadium and an abandoned zoo yep it's all happening. Check it out. Here you go. Oh, Tim. Tim, come in. Season four I know next are. week. I know I know Today big. is a big day for video games, but also a huge day for Porsche. The iconic German automaker turned 75 years old today. And to celebrate their contributions in the automotive and gaming space, and we've all raced a 911 in some point at a game, Xbox has teamed up with Porsche for a limited edition run of 75 consoles inspired by six famous Porsche race cars. Oh. And I'm thrilled to debut the first design here today inspired by the Porsche 963 that's racing this weekend at the 100th running of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Wow. Let's take a look. Cool. Definitely stand out in your living room or on your desk. 
Oh, it, and here it is. Whoa. The Porsche Xbox Series X. Cool. These custom consoles are not for sale, but you can enter for a chance to win one right now at PorscheXboxSweepstakes.com. Make sure to stay tuned for the Porsche and Xbox social channels for additional opportunities to get your hands on these special cool. consoles. All right, next. Phoenix Labs are building the next great entry into the cozy farm sim genre. <laughs> we all like a cozy game yep. inspired by classics like Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. Previously announced for Nintendo Switch, there's now some exciting news for PC players too. Let's take a look they want it at on Fate Steam farm. Deck. <laughs> Dear friend, life in Azoria has been treating me well. Days pass so quickly. Before I know it, they turn into seasons. It's been a breath of fresh air. I think we found a way to get cozy and settle in. But there's something more I've been itching to explore. Realms where magic comes to meet us. As long as we're prepared, we can face anything. So, what do you say? <laughs> There's so much yet to discover. Are you ready? I think they got the cozy thing right. <laughs> that does look kind of like the cozy game. We promise variety. There it is, Fae Farm and Mortal Kombat in the same show. Only at Summer Game Fest. <laughs> Now, please welcome Ben Brode, Chief Development Officer and Flannel Enthusiast at Second Dinner, the developers behind the popular collectible card game, Marvel Snap. What's up, Ben? Man, you guys have been on fire. Last time I saw you was at the Game Awards when you won uh, Best Mobile Game. Uh, seems like you've been very busy. We're excited about the Spider-Verse content you've been doing. Lots going on over there, right? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been exciting. We've been doing a bunch of new features, some of the wildest cards we've ever made, and... Uh, <clears throat> Some new game modes. Yeah. Yeah, new game. Is that is that a segue, Ben? Certainly, yeah. I'm a, a excited to announce Marvel Snap's biggest update ever. Uh, we have a new game mode coming next week. It's conquest mode. It's a great way to get a super competitive experience uh, and some exciting new rewards. But you don't have to wait till next week. If you haven't tried Marvel Snap, go download it right now on your mobile device or early access on Steam. All right, Ben. I, I love the enthusiasm, Ben. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> You're made for YouTube. All right. Well, we heard you brought uh, something fun uh, with you for us to watch, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, listen. I am incredible at card games, so I often win. Uh, but some people, and maybe you've had this experience, Jeff, uh, some people lose. Yeah. Okay. Fair. And I like to think it's because they suck. No offense, Jeff. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. But sometimes, yes. sometimes it's because they might just be a little bit unlucky. Cue the tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, I don't have an oh, ideal geez. hand of cards here, but that's fine. I'll see what I draw in future turns. Anyway, let's reveal the first location. Lamuntus 1. Each player destroys their deck. Okay, I guess I will work with what I have. I'll play Medusa on location number 2. She gets plus 2 power. And let's see the next location. Clover Dangerfield has a 25% chance of destroying your cow. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, 25% isn't that bad. And it's gone. Okay, well, I have some powerful cards in my hand, so I can just wait. Let's see the next location. The Big Barn. Players cannot play four, five, or six cost cows. What? <laughs> also, if you don't play a card this turn, you have zero friends. <laughs> Still to come, we're going to look at Immortals of Avium from EA Originals and Ascendant and the world premiere first look at Chapter 4, Season 3 of Fortnite Wilds. Now, if you're looking for the smartest way to level up your gaming this summer, compare top credit cards side by side with NerdWallet and start Not maximizing sponsored. your cash back rewards on everything I mean, from Wi-Fi to headsets. The now, sponsor, here's a look at King Arthur Legends sponsor. Rise, a new cross-platform UE5 game for mobile and PC, a Fantasy Squad RPG adventure that is available to pre-register today. Come on. 
so many All fantasy that. games, like... I have sacrificed everything to save your kind. Wayfinders, do you remember the fall? The gloom descended on Skylight. You rallied to protect the beacon and paid a terrible price. You fell and the world was broken. Remember who you were, who you are, and return to us. This world needs champions. a chance. <laughs> Captain's log, star date four three one five two point four. Star Trek. Our fleet is cautiously entering hostile territory, and the crew is standing by. We are the Wayfinders. Our Hey there, Summer Game Fest 2023. It's Will Arnett here. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Um, my buddy Anthony Mackey and I have been uh, working on this for some time now. We're really excited to share with you Twisted Metal, which is streaming only on Peacock starting July 27th. Oh. And I'm very excited to share a sneak peek of the character of Sweet Tooth, who I had the pleasure of voicing. Hope you enjoy it. Check it out. This is gonna be fun! We're steady! Ha! <laughs> Swung a little wide there. <laughs> well, aren't we a tall glass of water? Me? I'm more of a Hawaiian punch. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't fight much outside of your car now, do you? Look, Clown, I don't need four wheels to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> So he voices that character. This back in the car. <laughs> he play that character. How about a little kill music? 
Fantastic. I don't even know anything about this property. She had dumped like a truck, truck, truck. That's like what, what, what? All night long. Let me see that though. <laughs> like it when the beat go. Baby, let your booty go. Girl, do you want to show? Do you love this silver hair, God? Huh? Don't lie to me. Yeah, man. Look, I listened to Unleash the Dragon so many times the disc broke. I'm not a liar. You said you were coming to my show. Then you shot at me. It was a misunderstanding. I've been getting shot at ever since I can remember. It's forced habit, I guess. <sighs> Sounds like you have trust issues. Twisted metal huh? Cool. Who hasn't dreamt of duplicating oneself in order to multitask? This new hack and slash game with a tactical twist allows you to do just that. Brought to you from France, here's the world premiere reveal trailer of Lisfunga, the time shift warrior, coming later this year to PC. Whoa. Goddess of time. Receive my light, Lisfunga. Let this power flow through you and fight again alongside your past selves. I'm here again. That sounds cool. I mean, that idea sounds really cool. That's another me. Huh. I look good. I rewind. I begin again, but with another me to fight with. You're coming huh. with me. That's a cool idea. You're not the only one who can be in multiple places at once. I will become Legion and crush these demons. Onwards! I can feel that there are more. Hmm. Cool. Very cool independent game. All right, next up is a brand new IP from Ascendant Studios, a single player, first person magic shooter called Immortals of Avium. It's fast and fluid. It's an FPS in a fantasy setting, kind of like Doom with magic. It also has a great ca cast led by Who's Darren Barnett as the main character, Jack, and he joins us now. Hey, Darren. Hey, guys. Great to have you with How us. Doing? Thank you. This Very is exciting. such a, a cool game, super high production value, spectacular gameplay. Uh, tell us about the guy you play. You're the main character, Jack, right? Yes, I am playing the main character, Jack, as seen behind me. He yeah. is a battle mage that controls all three forms of magic, triple threat. Uh, he's brash, he's funny, but he gets the job done. Well, uh, it's the, the gameplay, as we've seen, is just so fast-paced. There's so much action in it, uh, you know, with all the spells, the spell casting, and the magic. Um, what can you tell us about the story and sort of how this battle mage, Jack, uh, comes in? He, he sort of becomes a battle mage, right? Yeah, he kind of comes from nothing. He's, uh, I guess they call him a street rat is what he was. Uh -huh. um, but he, uh, yeah, d during a uh, time of intense trauma, he summons the power to control magic. Uh, becomes part of the Immortals, which is like the elite Navy SEAL squad of this world called Avium, and they are in the middle of an ever war, fighting for the control of magic. Okay. Uh, I, you have a great cast, you, Gina Torres in it, lots of amazing actors in this incredible, really high production value game uh, that's coming out this summer. It, we don't have to wait long for it. Um, and I know you brought something with you to share today, which is a gameplay sequence, which is one of the, the most epic sort of parts of the game, right? Yeah. Um, so this is a wild part of the game. This trailer is going to be showing you um, the Immortals and myself. Confronting Sandrak directly, who is the top villain of this game, um, and trying to end the Ever War. And it's uh, taking place in like one of the most badass levels of a video game I've seen. We're battling on top of a 400-foot mech in the middle of the ocean as it moves around. Um, it's wild, so let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at yeah. some brand new gameplay from Immortals of Avium, which comes out this summer for PC, PS5, and Xbox. Thanks, Darren. Thank you. Sandrax Whoa. literally pushed us to the edge. Everyone that can fight already is. And we're still losing. Whoa. Welcome aboard. 
out immortal? What's our bearing, sir? North by northeast? Five knots. We'll catch him, sir. game. I know it's not, but it like almost looks like it could be one. Yeah, get to the control room and protect Selco. Zendara and I will hold off the Rashanian down here. Got it. Gotta get to the control room. Side of the world, the world. Oh. I want to be an immortal. I want to fight this war as one of you. You're what's called a triarch. The Pentasad has gifted you with the ability to manifest all three colors of magic. We're only going to win this one together. Sigil up. I mean, the gameplay looks pretty cool. The combat and stuff. Love that we get to show you guys so much amazing raw gameplay today, and that game looks incredible. Coming out this summer from Ascendant and EA. Now, one game that constantly reinvents itself is Fortnite. And tomorrow, Chapter 4 Season 3 Wilds launches. And today, Summer say, Game Fest is debuting the cinematic trailer right. to preview the season. The center of the island has collapsed, revealing a vast hidden jungle with ancient secrets to discover. And of course, there's a whole new battle pass lineup where you can unleash the power, yes, of Cybertron. Here we go. What? That one's so sick. That one's way cooler. And whoever that guy is. Okay. 
cool. Fortnite Wilds launches tomorrow. Well, finally, guys, it's time to get to our grand finale. <laughs> and it is a deep honor for me to present this game. What you're about to see is a world premiere trailer that gives us a new look at an expansive world we can't wait to explore again. again. This game comes from a studio that surprised the world and redefined the RPG genre with its iconic characters and rich storytelling. And I want to thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's most anticipated upcoming releases. The rumors were true. We're still here at the scene of this terrible disaster caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Unknown journey. Oh, it's Final Fantasy. Wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Mebelheim five years ago. The life stream. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Well now, I think we woke it up. Angered it more like. Feast your eyes on the Turk's latest and greatest, Elena. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. Say she's a monster, that she can peer inside you, into the very depths of your soul, that she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. Three, you, yeah. You murdered my dad. You burned my village. Do you know that I killed her? So, who is she? Whoa. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On, on two discs, it's a big game. There you have it. That was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming early 2024 to PlayStation 5. Nomura-san, thank you so much. All right. And that's going to do it for Summer Game Fest, our live showcase. But that is not the end of Summer Game Fest. Stay tuned this weekend for updates on many more games during SGF Play Days, a hands-on event for media here in Los Angeles, including Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, as well as the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase yep. on Sunday. I'm excited Right now, for that. though, stay tuned for Day of the Devs from I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, which celebrates the independent game culture with a number of new game reveals over the next hour. Hmm. We'll see you this summer, later this summer, on August 22nd for Gamescom Opening Night Live in Germany. 
and again in December when we come together game here awards, in Los Angeles year. to celebrate 10 years of the Game Awards. Thanks Jeez. for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. It's crazy to think about. I feel like I watched the last Game Awards like two months ago. And, you know, he's already planning the next one. Like, obviously doing all the plans and stuff. It's crazy. I'm going to kind of skip through this and see if there's anything cool that we might want to watch. I think it's all a bunch of indie stuff. What's this game? Premiere. Hi there, welcome. I'm Lara. And I'm Dragos of Stoneskip Studio. Dragos. We are a small team from Transylvania and our mission is to create meaningful interactive experiences. Our first game, Simpler Times, sheds light to the beauty of the ordinary and serves as a place from the past where you can be present. Simpler Times follows Taina on a heartwarming journey through her memories as she prepares to leave her childhood home. Oh. Oh, man, it's getting pretty full. It's starting to feel like I'm never gonna come back. We want you to slow down and savor the present moment by immersing you in Taina's world. It's apple picking season, my favorite. Through visual storytelling and mindful this interactions, looks so cool, like a cozy you game journey too. alongside her as she delves into her past and uncovers her authentic self. Oh. This game looks good. With each puzzle, Taina grows closer to adulthood and you'll be there to guide her. From simple activities like picking dried leaves from a plant to more complex ones like building a birdhouse, you'll interact with objects that hold sentimental value for Taina. Uh, I really wish I could take you with me. I'm gonna miss our duets together. We know the world is getting faster every day. Yeah. We live in it too. <laughs> we wanted to create a space where players can take a break, uh, slow down, and enjoy something meaningful. Simpler times stems from stories we believe need to be told and heard. Inspired by this very place we're now sitting in, the game is a reflection of the physical spaces we spend time in and the memories we hold dear. I've spent so much time here looking out the window. It's hard to believe that I won't see this view for a while. We want to build a sense of awareness and appreciation for the world around us, encouraging you to reflect on your own memories and experiences. Simpler Times is coming soon on PC and other platforms, so make sure to wishlist on Steam and follow us on social media. Thanks for taking the time cool. to listen. We hope you'll enjoy playing Simpler Times as much as we enjoyed creating it. Bye! Bye. That was a hidden gem it's game. It's like childhood is the beach. Seems like one. Growing up is the sea. Can I still take all these seashells with me? Can I lock them in a chest with my memories? Looks like a, a nice, no, 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 cozy this game, next but. game is from Sad Owl Studios and Thunderful Publishing. It's a really unique puzzle game built around. Oh, what's this? Oh. The photos that you take become 3D worlds to explore. Oh, uh, yes. This is Viewfinder. I've seen other puzzle games kind of like this. I've probably seen this one before. Or seen one just like this before. Wow. If you find it's a difficult game to describe in <laughs> words, but if you saw it, you'd immediately recognize it. <laughs> what is this place? It is a game that, you know, gives players a lot of freedom. What's an old photograph doing here? You can take photos or find photos and then make them into... Whoa, that the is status. so trippy. Did, hang on, did you just shift reality? Sick. Dude, what makes it how unique do they is not the make games like this VR? You're using a camera that would be so and pictures crazy. to reshape and reconfigure the world around you in order to solve challenges in creative ways. 
it's such a unique experience and I think everybody is just gonna have a different experience of how they play viewfinder and that's just a really nice thing to it ah, a perfect fit ah, an elegant solution <clears throat> hmm that doesn't look right <laughs> You can rotate reality too! If I was to compare Viewfinder to other games, I'd say it's like the gameplay of Portal combined with the visual illusions of Superliminal or Antichamber. Yeah. People have also compared it to The Witness and uh, Manifold Garden and various other puzzle, puzzle games. It's a puzzle game, but it's very sandboxy and playful and open ended. <laughs> the whole concept of when we started this that when you actually create something you do destroy a lot of things and you know that's just a very important lesson in creation viewfinder is created by different people and you know we have people from all over the world who have such a diverse and interesting cultures each it's character so comes crazy. from a different culture. There's, well, there's a lot of sort of culture-specific mm -hmm. props and items and themes who you learn about, uh, mostly through environments and environmental storytelling. And so we've tried to sort of make these special spaces that really represent that character, who they are, what they like to do. I'm sure you noticed by now, but using film was always Mirren's idea. One of her many passions. Huh. <laughs> See, Leon is always fond of games. It's just very important for us to just put in what we know so that the rest of the world could also, you know, have a glimpse of the experiences that we've had. That looks so cool. This must be the next stage. <laughs> Let's go! That looks cool. That looks like a cool Steam Deck game, too. Dang. We received a record number of submissions for this Summer Game Fest edition. Oops. It's lonely out there. Hi, I'm Nick Herman. I'm with Ad Hoc Studio, and we're here to show you Cart Life. Car Life is a retail simulator developed by Richard Hoffmeyer and was originally released in 2013 where it won a bunch of awards at the Independent Games Festival. For a variety retail of reasons, simulator. he ended up pulling yeah. it off Steam, but all of us at Ad Hoc are such big fans of Richard's work. Now we're partnering with him to help bring it back. Hmm. Interesting. In our next game, Henry Halfhead, you play as half a head. That's it. That's the game. But it's so much more than that, too, because you see, Henry can be many things, can be anything, in fact. He has the curious ability to be able to transform into anything he can reach. Using this peculiar power and perplexing form, you'll live the life of the title character, navigating sandbox situations crafted by Zurich based developers, Lululu Entertainment. And in so do Interesting. Kind of just scrubbing through, see if there's anything that catches my eye. As much as I would like to watch this, I don't This, this game looks really cool too. I've seen uh, some stuff about this before too. Doggy! Yo, puppy!
book two about life, loss, and livestock. Wish wish list now on Steam. We hope you enjoy this first look at our brand new game, Summerhill. To give you a little bit more detail, Summerhill is a story-driven puzzle game in which you play as a young Whoa. shepherd and their dog. Together you'll be setting out to rescue your lost flock that have been scattered across the mysterious land that lies at the border of your home. Summerhill brings together gentle problem solving, fluid herding based gameplay, and striking pastoral landscapes to tell a timeless coming of age folktale. As a team, we've been massively inspired by the rich history and cultural impact of sheep herding across the world. There are a few people or places that haven't been impacted in some small way by the practice of shepherding. Even the name Summerhill is a name often given to highland pastures where sheep are taken to graze during the warmest months of the year. In many ways, sheep herding is in our DNA and we really want to do justice to this timeless tradition and tell a story that could only be told in this way. We're also super excited to be working again with our longtime collaborator, Todd Baker. Todd is a composer and audio designer best known for his work on games such as Monument Valley 2, Dreams, and our very own Alto's Odyssey. We can't wait to share more with you, so if you'd like to be the first to hear about what we're up to, please head over to our Steam page to wishlist the game, or go to summerhill.game to join our mailing list. Thanks again, and we look forward to sharing more with you again soon. Cool. I'm interested in that one too. Looks pretty cool. Next up. Hmm, what was this? Oops. Share your creations with the community. Hello everyone, I'm Marco Bancale from Nivel Licoris, and I'm one of the designers of Retro Gadgets. Huh. Although it takes me forever to build something like this, I love the feeling of seeing something happening on a screen like this one when I rotate the knob or I press the buttons. And this is where the idea for retro gadgets comes from, is to being able to build digital gadgets with little effort. We love uh, Pico 8 by Alexa Love because it brings you this retro environment where you can build your own games in Lua. And we also love Shenzhen IO by Zaktronix because it manages to teach you low level programming effortlessly. And Retro Gadget tries to take cool. the best of both worlds and adds a layer of hardware building and customization. All this is packaged in a cozy and retro inspired environment. Huh, fake boy. <laughs> we have a fantastic community and uh, people have been creating insane gadgets that go well beyond our initial expectations. So please join our Discord huh. server and uh, check them out. Looks Retro cool. Gadgets is in early access on Steam and we have big plans in store. Bye. Cool. Whoa, what's this one? Using vehicles that you design and build yourself. Okay. It's like a robotics game. Complete deliveries, the game will give you new toys to play with. I like the art style, the art looks cool. Graphic style. Are you supposed to be on like Mars or something? I'm assuming. <laughs> It's like a over made of PVC, that's what it looks like. PVC pipes. The game is set in a vast open world, and you're free to pick and choose which jobs you'd like to take on. There's a mix of procedurally Same generated market. side jobs and handcrafted main contracts. Cool. In the main contracts, you'll be helping to construct new buildings in the game's world. Whoa.
One of the main challenges in the game is figuring out how to pick up each item and deliver it safely to its destination using the parts that you have available. As you build up your collection of parts, <laughs> more creative options will become available to you. And I think a lot of the fun in the game is just messing around and being creative yeah. in its editor. <laughs> what the? Jumping in the pool. That looks so funny. <laughs> and finally, I'm really excited to announce that Mars Ghost Logistics will be launching into Steam Early Access on the 22nd of June. That's just two weeks away, and we're really looking forward to seeing what everyone builds in the game. Thank you. That looks cool. Mars first logistics. Oh, it wasn't Mars, okay. You'd think the aftermath of a worldwide flood would be- that Looks pretty cool. Coming up next. I don't know what this after part is. Probably just more indie stuff. Mix of beauty here. Some more indie games. Go! Huh. Well, that was it. Very cool. Um, very cool showcase, I think, in my opinion. Um, Jeff clearly knows how to give people a show, as always, um, especially during this Gamescom Game Awards. He knows how to give people a show. Um, I'm looking forward to some of the other showcases. Um, this Sunday, I'm going to be um, streaming and recording my reaction and commentary to the uh, Xbox Bethesda showcase. Um, the main, you know, game they're showing off in that would be uh, Starfield, which I'm very interested in, um, just being, you know, a very high budget, um, very high production space, you know, simulator game. Very, very interested in that. Even though I don't have an Xbox, um, I obviously have Steam Deck, so we, um, I don't think it'll be playable on Steam Deck, but we can play, I can play it through Xbox Game Cloud on the Steam Deck, which will be easy. Otherwise, I can, you know, play it on my, my regular computer. Um, but yeah, very interested in that. I will be definitely streaming that on Sunday because I'm very excited to see, you know, Polish and anything else they show us about Starfield. I'm very curious. I've been following along um, on Bethesda's journey and, you know, listening to Todd Howard talk about Starfield and how he's so passionate about it and stuff like that. But yeah, I think a lot of um, games in the showcase. I'm looking forward to Alan Wake. Um, curious about that one. Obviously, Spider Man. I'm very interested about Spider Man. Uh, Mortal Kombat looks pretty cool. I'm not really into fighting games, but looks pretty cool. And then there's a lot of indie games. I feel like there are a lot of hidden gen games that you know you wouldn't really hear about unless you saw you watch this kind of thing or you saw them on Steam or something randomly or someone was recommended it to you. So a lot of cool indie games. I feel like come out of these kind of showcases that um, are hidden gems, but yeah well um those are watching on twitch thanks for watching um for those watching on youtube thanks for watching um thanks for holding out if you're watching this long um pretty good showcase um hope to be back on saturday night with um probably the last of us part two and sunday with the xbox bethesda showcase so Thanks for watching. See you next time.